Hey guys, it's Lacey from Dandelion Diaries. I am getting ready to go out with my aunt and one of my cousins and her mom. And I'm just really excited. I don't really do girls nights out very often and it's not like I'm gonna go out and be wild and crazy and party, but um, I am looking forward to just having an opportunity to do my hair and makeup and um, get all dolled up and go hang out with people that I really enjoy spending time with and that I don't get to spend time with often enough. So, uh, we're going to the Cheesecake Factory, and um, if you're wondering, I am going off of Whole30 um, and Paleo for tonight, and it's in line with my plans to do Paleo for, um, pa do Paleo like 80-20 style. Hey guys, it is Thursday morning, and I'm on my way to work, but I walked outside, and I'm so excited. It is all cloudy, and we don't get this kind of weather in San Diego very much. And it is so, so exciting. It's like gray clouds. I'll try to show you so you can see. Ooh, I'm so excited. There is nothing I love more than some rain. Um, San Diego, or California as a state right now, is like in a drought situation. So we don't get rain very much. And this year's been an extra dry year. And we could really, 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 really use some rain. So, oh look, I see a pine cone on the ground. Can you see it, can you see it? Ooh, amongst trash, that's lovely. <laughs> I'm on my way to my work. I never look this nice for work, it's so cool. I love getting my hair and makeup done and seeing people from my job because we all see each other wearing um, t-shirts, like uniform t-shirts and jeans all day long every single day so it's really fun to get all dolled up and um, go to work and see all these people who never see you dressed up. Tonight is our back to school night and um, I don't have to go but I wanted to go so they um, actually let me out a little bit early today to compensate for the hours so I left work a little early, came home, was able to do my hair and makeup, and then um, change my clothes, and then I'm heading back to work now. Um, that way they don't have to pay too much overtime. I think I'll still get like like 15 minutes to half an hour of overtime, but not much. So anyways, um, yeah. So I, this is the second night this week that I've gotten all dolled up. I had a girls night with my aunt and my second cousin and her mom and that was really fun. We went to the Cheesecake Factory and then um, uh, and then tonight and I just do hair and makeup when there's something fun happening. So this is fun. I get to meet the parents. Sometimes the kids come with their parents but some just stay at home and just the parents come so it's just a nice little social opportunity with the families and um, you know even when the kids come they come to school to see us but you know they're not doing any lessons or learning stuff they're just there on a social in a social social format with their family so it's kind of fun to see the kids like that too hey guys it's another fall morning uh, yesterday the weather didn't stay fall but you know we had a good start so maybe today will be um, a better a better fall day I'm hoping that we stick all these gray clouds stick around and that um, you know that the temperatures stay nice and cool it's 65 degrees this morning right now so I don't know I know that's warmer than the other morning when I recorded for you but maybe it'll hang around and stay stay low temperatures um, okay, one of the other things I wanted to talk to you guys about is I am really trying to set some goals for myself on uh, for my vlog and the first goal is that I want to try to get to 100 subscribers. So, I am trying to perfect, not perfect because there's a, I have a long way to go to perfect this, but I want to make some improvements wherever I can to give you guys a better viewing experience. So if there's something that I am doing now that maybe isn't working for you guys, um, you know, let me know. Or if there's some other things that you'd like want to see that you're not seeing, um, or if you feel like you don't know us or something like that and you want more like about me videos or something like that um, to kind of introduce myself or my family um, just kind of let me know I just don't know what you guys want to see so um, help me out with that 
And then, um, obviously, if you're not a subscriber, you can definitely help by subscribing to the channel. I know I'm new to this, but um, in time, I'm sure I will get better and better. And I have been fairly good about being consistent at uploading videos at least once a week, sometimes more. So that part I think I'm doing all right for now because that's what I promised in the very beginning of this channel was at least once a week for a while and then slowly try to increase um, the amount of videos that I post weekly. Also, um, Heidi from While They Were Napping. By the way, I hope Quinn is going to come today, Heidi. Oh my gosh, I know you are so ready to meet her and I'm I can't wait to see your vlog that goes up that says she's here because she's gonna be here soon. It doesn't matter when she comes, but it's gonna be soon. She can only stay in there so long, right? All right. So, anyways, I got some advice from Heidi while they were um, from while they while they were napping. Wow. Okay. And um, she recommended to kind of give myself something to work on or whatever would be to watch some other youtubers that have like 500 to a thousand subscribers and that would kind of give me an idea of like you know what are they doing that I'm not doing that is getting them those subscribers so I think that was really really good advice thanks Heidi um, so yeah so I subscribed to a couple channels and I'm definitely excited, like I, I want to be there. I want to become part of this community and I've always been a part of it, but just kind of like the people that are commenting and following and I'm subscribed to a lot of channels um, on my other account. I had two accounts and I tried to do this once before and I just didn't like where my videos were going and whatever, so I just wanted a fresh start, but um, I am trying to like subscribe to people that are in this community and who are posting regularly and um, so yeah give me your ideas in the comments below and I will definitely be reading and replying to comments um, I think that's one thing that I want to be really good at for as long as I possibly can manage it is being able to reply to each and every one of you that comments and I know that at some point that might not be something that is manageable if if things go good um, if I end up having several thousand subscribers down the line I might not be able to uphold um, that completely but I want to for as long as I can possibly manage it to to be able to reply to all comments um, so please 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 feel free to comment below I will respond to your comment all right guys well I am on the freeway stuck in traffic Woo! and on my way to work so I should be going and I'll just talk to you later bye hey guys so it's Saturday and I've been running lots of errands today and I did my grocery shopping and then I've got a pile of clothes behind me here that you can probably see on the chair and I'm gonna do a little shopping haul video for you in a little bit in a little while it'll be a separate video that I'll post on the channel probably this weekend if I get around to editing it otherwise sometime next week but they did another little project this week that is just a quick thing I can show you so I'm gonna show you that really fast um, as part of like the whole 30 stuff I've been trying to um, like meal plan we sit down my husband and I and kind of decide what we want to have for the week and then we know what we need to buy at the grocery store because we go sh grocery shopping every week so before I um, <clears throat> before I made this new format of meal planning we would just write our meals on like a dry erase board and with our handwriting it was really ugly and whatever I'll insert a picture of it here I believe I have a picture of it on my phone and then I made this ta-da isn't it beautiful um, it's a mealtime board so obviously it says mealtime um, it's 11 by 14 and I used like scrapbooking paper and stickers uh, that I had on hand so I really didn't have to purchase anything except for the frame which I got for I believe $6.99 at Joann's so I put oh I also had to buy um, velcro because I made these so we can velcro them on and off 
And obviously this is just our dinner board. We don't really need to meal plan for the other meals that we eat, like breakfast and lunch. We eat um, dinner leftovers for lunch and we um, each do our own thing for breakfast um, most days. So as you can see, there's a uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And that covers our entire week of meals. And then I just added this cute little yum and some little flower stickers that coordinate with the colors. Uh-oh, going out of focus. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Let's see if we can get you back. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, so these all Velcro off. What is going on? Let's see. Wait for it. It's like dramatic. Ooh, almost there. Okay, so then we have these individual um, icons that have the Velcro on the back, and I just used contact paper that you can buy at Walmart or any craft store or office supply store, and I printed these out um, on my regular printer paper, scrapbooked them on there like that, and then put the Velcro, put the contact paper on, and then put the Velcro on. So that can go back up there. So each day, I um, printed out the um, I printed out the meals that we eat most frequently because we eat a lot of repeat meals um, that are just kind of like our go-to favorites. Daily, do you have mommy's sock? That's my sock. You can't have it. That's a bad dog. Are you being bad? Yeah. Sit. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Daily, say rough. That's a sneeze. Say rough. Why does my dog sneeze when I tell him rough? There you go. Good boy. Daily, say rough. Yeah, say rough. Come on, say rough. Good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you're so cute. Woo. <laughs> you're dancing? Dance. Dance. Daily, come on, dance. Come on, dance. Good boy. All right. Say bye. Bye. Hey guys, this is what you look like when you wake up at 7.30 in the morning and you start doing chores right away. Um, my hair is washed, but this is what it looks like when it dries on its own. Kind of like just wavy and frizzy and ah. So I threw a headband in my hair and this has been happening this morning. Let me show you. I organized my whole closet. All of this stuff is like my fall and winter type clothing that I like to wear. I've got a few new things that I have to share with you guys in a shopping haul. But I put my sweaters and jackets, hoodies, pajamas down here and then I did like long sleeve, three quarter length sleeve, short sleeve, tank tops, pants and then these are all my work shirts then camis are here then workout clothes, pants are here and then workout tops are next to it and then this is some of my tops that I feel like are strictly for spring and summer they really can't be worn for winter and then I have some dresses right there and then this stuff is either stuff that I'm not fitting into yet or just kinda like random t-shirts that I wanna keep but they're like they're like um, seasonal t-shirts or um, like I think one of them is a KSON concert t-shirt which I wear when I um, work for my aunt doing kettle corn and it's a country um, that's a local country station so when I work kettle corn with my aunt and she's doing an event for that for that radio station, I wear that shirt. In the process of going through, hi Daily. Hi. Ooh, you're so cute. Hi, you're so cute. In the process of organizing the closet, I filled this entire bucket. It's a pretty big one with clothes to donate. And then. These bags here, there's one inside of here, have um, some work shirts that I'm going to try to trade in for new ones. And then this bag has shirts that I'm going to just kind of like donate to anyone at my work who wants them. 
um, at my work, if your shirts get like um, a hole in them or they get stretched out or they have a stain or they start to like pill a little bit, you're allowed to um, trade them in for a nicer, newer one so you look really professional. So this, the shirts in the green bag, that's what's going on with those. And then these don't have any stains or rips or pulls, but I don't like the way they fit me or I don't like the color. So I figured I would just give those to my coworkers. Then I have a pile of clothes here that are all like pretty nice clothes still and um, I'm going to try to sell those so I took pictures of all these items and I'm going to post them up. Um, my husband's hat that he never wore that I bought him that he doesn't really like so I'm going to sell that and yeah so... guys now we are at subway we just got done getting gas and right around the corner is the subway so we are here Rob's in there ordering our lunches and I'm hanging out in the car with the pup who is just looking out the window he's sniffing all the smells in the air he loves to go for a car ride huh do you like a car ride that's not daddy that's an old man <laughs> He's so cute, guys. Um, my favorite s sandwich at Subway is the turkey breast on the honey oat bread with provolone cheese. And then I get lettuce, tomato, and onions. And I put, um, I go easy on the mayo. I do easy on honey mustard, um, easy on the oil and vinegar. And then I get salt and pepper. And I do like to add avocado, but today we're not gonna do that because I bought some um, like guacamole packets and I'm just gonna put that on there because it'll save us some money and I have an extra one for the week so I'm just gonna do that but if I was out and about I would order avocado on it also alright guys so Rob and I both play on a fantasy football team together and this is my team right here uh, no pun intended and since it's taken a while in subway I thought I'd check on my score isn't that beautiful look at that I am winning by what like Mm, 45 points or something like that maybe 47 points 44 points I don't know whatever something like that I'm projected at 111 points and the other person I'm playing is projected at 82 points so that's pretty awesome um, let me show you here let me scroll down so all of my players have played except for Des Bryant and Julius Thomas I think that's his name Julius Thomas I think and then the person I'm playing still has Crabtree Demarius Thomas oh yeah that's it oh wait and he just um, Novak just started playing so I still think that I've got this guys Des Bryant and um, Julius Thomas are both really strong players and I should get decent numbers from both of them so Anyways, um, do you guys play on a fantasy football team? Tell me about it. What's your team name? Because, you know, I know that's a big thing in fantasy football, coming up with um, creative fantasy football team names. So, uh, mine is no punt intended. I wanted to keep it clean. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of names, um, team names out there that are pretty, like, vulgar and dirty and stuff, but that's not my thing. I don't, not really into that. So, um, I mean, I think they're funny when I see other people's, but that's just not my personality to choose that for my team name. But I would love to hear what your guys' team names are, so please share that as well. Hey guys, so I got a little bored just sitting and watching football, so I decided to work on a couple craft projects that I've been, well this one I've been putting off for about two years. I fell in love with it when I first got it. It's the... Um, classic Christmas stories that they play um, during the holidays all the like the old claymation um, shows and it's like all the characters from those it's really really cute it was originally a panel print for a children's book like a like a baby book you could 
put it together and it's not made out of paper so the baby can chew on it and whatever else. But I wanted to turn it into a quilt so I cut the pages all down into squares and I plan on um, piecing those together for a Christmas quilt. And then this was a border fabric print that my aunt and I bought and I'm making placemats with that and I haven't decided if I want to put um, this as the back or if I want to make cloth napkins to go with the placemat so haven't quite decided I'm not going to finish either of these projects today I just figured while I was listening to the game I would get some fabric cut and prepped so that when I have some time to sit down at the machine I'll have something to work on so that's what I've been up to all right we just went to Target and got Little Daily Puppy, his costume! Daily, sit! It's a good stay. He's a referee! Ha <laughs> ha! Aww, Daily, you look so cute! Do you want your bone? It's actually not a bone, it's an antler, but he doesn't know that. We call it a bone. There you go! Good boy! Mm -hmm. Aw, you're so cute. Yummy bone. <laughs> so I was thinking that Rob and I could dress up as football players and we'll just wear our jerseys. Not dress up because we're just going to go um, trick-or-treating probably with our, my nieces. So, But it's still fun to kind of dress up a little bit. So figured we could wear our Charger jerseys and Daly can wear his referee, his referee costume and that'll be cute and easy. All right, 